Welcome to Fret Reps. This is part three of learning the scales without the guitar. I made up this mind game puzzle exercise. It'll help you recognize and instantly apply the hand pattern set for modes anywhere on the neck. Before we get into the game, let's quickly get a reminder of what a mode is for those who need to know. In the C major scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the scale starts on C. This position has a name. It's called Ionian. Ionian has a specific pattern. If you watch the hand pattern video in the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 set, the Ionian mode would be the first three, and only that three. Since, in music, they start with the C major, Ionian would be considered the first mode. But it really doesn't matter where you start. So let's start on A, which is the starting point of the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 hand pattern group set you learned in the hand pattern video. In this order, the mode order would be Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, and Mixolydian. This order is important. Don't mix this up. The starting point isn't important because you can start at any point, as long as you continue the order going forward or backward. But now your starting point is important because that would be considered your root, your home, your key. The rest of the scale is the exact same scale as the C major scale, but it now sounds different. It gives the music a different feel. Such as, if you wanted to play country music, playing in the Mixolydian position would give a very traditional country sound. Not that country music is exclusive to Mixolydian, or if you play Mixolydian, you have to play country music. It's just that if you want to write a country song, playing in Mixolydian would be a good start. In the C major scale, all the natural notes, no flats or sharps, C is Ionian. D would be Dorian, but say you want to play Dorian in A. But you don't want or care what notes are flat or natural. All you really need to know is the Dorian hand pattern set. Once you start the pattern, you'll know the rest of the scale. Well, you will for sure if you participated in part two of the practice scales without the guitar video. This way, if anyone says they want to play in a Dorian or a Mixolydian, you'll automatically see in your mind the starting hand pattern set. Click the link in the description, supply your email, and I'll send you the game. Don't worry, I don't share your email with anyone. I'm just a guitarist from Texas trying to start a YouTube channel. If you've already downloaded the neck labels, you don't have to fill out the form. I'm sending this exercise game to everyone on my email list. Print it out and play along. Each page is a mode exercise. The example pattern set of six notes is at the top. All you have to do is circle the dot that is in the position shown in red. Find as many of these dot patterns as you can. You'll quickly see that there is a repeating pattern as to where they show up. Do each mode and then continue to the last page. This last page is a test. Next to each mode name, draw in the six dots associated with that mode. Since each pattern set doesn't always start with the first dot in the six dot set, circle the dot that is your root, which was the red one. The first row is in order. The others are mixed up. Do this at least once a week. Soon it will be committed to memory. When you play the guitar, you will soon notice how you recognize what mode you're on, whether you're in that key or not. In the next video, you're gonna finally memorize the pentatonic scale and all its positions, the easy way.